Hello and welcome. In this tutorial, I am going to show how to model contacts with the face field UEL in Abacus. In order to do this, we are going to simulate an idealized Brazilian test with a metallic jaw and a sandstone specimen. This is important because this way I am going to show how to implement external forces or distributed forces uh, on our model. In the UELs, we cannot really use uh, force boundaries because the program doesn't know how to reuse the distributed forces to the, the nodes because it doesn't know the shift functions. Therefore, we are going to use the UMAT, the UMAT layer, to redefine the element sets and to distribute the external forces coming from the contacts to the specific translational degrees of freedom. Now, let's start. After opening the user interface of Abacus, create a standard explicit model. Make sure that your work directory is set correctly. Then save your simulation as contact. We will create the whole model in one part because the MATLAB converter script I wrote deals with only one part in this case. This will be a 2D planner case. Let's name this Brazilian. It will be a shell and let's give an approximate size of 500. Click continue. First, we will create the specimen using a tool when we define first the center of the circle and two other points. The radius is 50, so we will add 0, 50. And for the second point, it will be 50, 0. To close this polyline, we will add two other segments and click Escape. To create the jaw, we will use the same tool. However, we will define our circle at 0, minus 24.999 until 0, 50.001 this way creating a small gap between the specimen and the jaw let's bring this to a certain point it doesn't really matter then create the remaining parts of the jaw and close the polyline this way we can see that we have created a very very small gap in between the two subparts click escape and done and make sure to save this part now let's go to property similarly as we did in the in the other tutorials we will create a generalized UMAT with a solution dependent variable of 16 and a user's material with a very very small stiffness and an arbitrary Poisson's ratio. Let's create a section, let's accept here everything, then create two sets. First we will create the specimen, let's name it disk, highlight the, the disk part, click done agree with the, the predefined section then the second one name the jaw and click done okay now we can click escape and save the model let's go to assembly here we will only create our instance let's click ok and that's done as well let's go to step create a new 
step which is going to be a static general step click continue the time period which we are going to model is 0 0.66 we will model this with a fixed time increment with 660 time increments and an increment size of 10 on the power minus 3 let's click OK and dismiss this dialog let's manage the field outputs we only need the displacements and the reaction forces let's click OK and dismiss this window save then go to interactions first we will define the property of the interactions which is going to be a simple contact click continue here we will add a tangential behavior which is going to be a frictionless behavior and the normal behavior which is going to be a linear contact where the stiffness of a high value let's say 10 on the power 8 click ok and now we can create our contact it is going to be a surface to surface contact click continue now we will highlight the stiffer material the master surface this is going to be the surface of the jaw click done we will select a uh, slave surface as a surface so click surface and select the the edge of our specimen and click done make sure that your predefined contact property is highlighted and click ok now we can see that the program has predefined our contact. Save the model and go to loads. Here we will create three boundary conditions. First, we will constrain the bottom. This is going to be a displacement boundary condition. Click continue. Let's name this set bottom. Highlight the bottom edge of the specimen and click done. We will constrain the translation as a symmetric boundary condition in the y direction so in the second translation a degree of freedom and click ok the second boundary condition is going to be the symmetric boundary condition this is going to be as well a displacement rotation boundary condition we will define this on the sides let's highlight the two sides both the disc and the jaw by pressing shift click ok he, we will constrain the x directional translation and click ok to apply the displacement we will apply the load on the top click continue name the set top highlight the top surface of the jaw and click ok we will apply uh, y directional displacement with a value of minus 0 0.33 millimeters click ok and save the model now we can define our mesh let's go to part we will create a simple general mesh with an average approximate mesh size of one millimeter click ok and mesh the specimen good go to jobs let's create a job name contact click continue accept everything and go to job manager and write an input file now we can go to MATLAB and uh, modify this input file in MATLAB make sure that your work directory is the same as when you created your abacus input file let's open the converter script to see what kind of information do we need to add first we will create a matrix with the material properties first the Young modulus the Poisson's ratio the thickness of the model a stability parameter the length scale of the diffuse damage the fracture surface energy and then anisotropic energy degradation switch is going to be added for both the jaw and the sandstone let's create this <coughs> first we defined the disk 
first. So we will add a 3300 megapascal Young modulus for the sandstone with a Poisson's ratio of 0 0.38 with a thickness of 1. It doesn't really matter because we are working in plane strain conditions. A relatively small value for the stability parameter. Our average finite element size was 1, so the length scale parameter is going to be 2. For this model, I will add 0.1. A newton per millimeter fracture surface energy and an anisotropic energy degradation. We can do the same for the jaw, however, we will add a much higher Young modulus 0.3 for the Poisson's ratio. The thickness is the same, the stability parameter is the same, the crack length is the same however the fracture surface energy is much higher and here we can add whatever we want for the anisotropic energy switch <coughs> now we can type abacus to <coughs> face field uel contact <coughs> here we will write contact dot imp which is the name of the input script we created and the name of the matrix for with the material properties let's click ok this script will create will modify the original input script to be used with the uel let's open both by clicking right and open as text What is different compared to the old generator script is in the element set definition. Let's go to the element set in both scripts. We will see, for example, that the surface element sets starts on the, in the original script with 60, while this is increased by two times the the total number of elements this way all elements all element sets are defined based on the umat now we can go back to abacus and start running this script let's create a new job based on an input file this is going to be the newly created input file click continue click on general and add the fortran script which was created, which was duplicated by the, the, the MATLAB script and submit. In a few minutes, we will come back to see the results. When the model is completed, we can go to results. First, we will clean up the plot view by selecting only the UMAT elements and replacing the, the display grid. To see the crack, we will go to the 14th fusion dependent variable and let's set the scale to 1. We see that we have a fairly diffuse crack, but this is thanks to the relatively large uh, length scale parameter. We can actually delete or delete from the, the, the view those elements which have a result value larger than 0.95 base field this way showing some kind of real crack in the model to sum up sum up the the, the tutorial we created a model with a contact i introduced a script which can create element sets based on UMATs, which can transfer the external forces between different parts. Of course, we saw that we would need to have a much smaller length scale parameter to precisely model this, this thin crack with probably anisotropic materials. 
this concludes this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. See you next time.